It was 1993 and Texas A&M University needed a volleyball coach. When they brought in Lori Corbelli, she would go on to be remembered as one of the greatest coaches to ever roam the sidelines. She entered the coaching ranks at the University of San Francisco after an illustrious playing career that saw her win a silver medal in the 1984 Olympic Games. Following a stop in Santa Clara for a combined seven years in California, Corbelli traveled to Texas and delivered the Aggies 519 wins and 20 NCAA tournament appearances. Her 25 seasons in College Station made a lasting impact on everyone she came in contact with. A number of her former assistants have gone on to become successful head coaches in their own right. I've learned so much from you. Um, you know, I, now as a head coach, I've, I've <laughs> checked in with you and asked um, for help. Um, as a head coach, I've asked you to um, give me advice and I've reached out to you and you've been nothing but supportive and you've always told me, you know, the right thing at the right time to make me um, feel like a better coach to make me feel like I could uh, move forward and I really appreciate everything you've ever done for me. The three-time AVCA Region Coach of the Year coached alongside her husband John while raising two children. Handling work-life balance is never easy but Corbelli always welcomed her players so they not only became productive on the court but caring and successful people off the court. The AVCA salutes Lori Corbelli. Thank you, first off, to Kathy DeBoer and the AVCA staff and the Hall of Fame committee for recognizing the hard work and the accomplishments of all these coaches around the country at every level and for always being there for any of us who need your assistance and support. Thank you to Jostens for your long-term support of volleyball and for the many years you've hosted this banquet. Congratulations to Jody, Joel, and Doug also being inducted today and to all the coaches being honored. It is truly an unforgettable feeling for me to be recognized in this way from my colleagues in a sport that has shaped my life, my family, and my values. When I started playing volleyball in Texas in the 10th grade, there were no junior clubs, very few scholarships, and only a few volleyball fanatics in North Texas in the, in the region, like Jan Briggs, Steve and Mary Steed, Jean Chambliss, and Pat McChesney. They were instrumental in introducing volleyball to me and my family and encouraging me to pursue the sport in a serious way. My sister Lee was already playing, one year older than me, and maybe is the best athlete of all of us four daughters. She is here today to celebrate this honor with me. So thank you, Lee, and sisters Lynn and Leslie, and to my mom in Dallas who could not make this trip, and to my dad in heaven, dad, I feel your presence. Thank you for your endless support and your love and your listening and your encouragement. Thank you for never leaving my side in the tough and ugly times. The love and support from all of you inspired me to make you guys proud of me and everything I did. Lee, will you just wave? She's the one that looks just like me. <laughs> I was so fortunate to play in college Title IX had just been passed, and I was right there to benefit on a $2,000 scholarship alongside two of my sisters. We won two small college national titles in the mid-70s, playing against the likes of famous coaches Sue Gazanski at UC Riverside and Russ Rose at George Williams College. That tells you how long ago that was. And Ruth Nelson at the University of Houston, who we were all terrified of. Thank you to Coach Susan Duke and all of my teammates at Texas Lutheran for an unforgettable and must I say awfully fun college career. On the national team, my teammates were and still are like sisters. We trained full time for seven years for the Olympics. Many of us chose the coaching profession after our playing days and two of them are here today. Denise Corlett, current assistant 
at Stanford University coaching tonight in the semis. And Debbie Brown, who spent 20 years as a head coach at Notre Dame and was a 2017 Hall of Fame inductee. Debbie was also a mom, coaching in a very intense environment. And we had many conversations over 25 years about blending motherhood and coaching. Thanks to both of you, Denise and Deb, for always setting the bar high, both as players and as coaches, and as a mom. Thanks for inspiring me with your endless courage and for always believing in me. I suspect you two had something sneaky to do with this award, but we'll settle that later. I also want to thank Ari Selinger and his staff on the national team for teaching me what it means to work hard, what the words commitment and perseverance really mean. My first coaching job after the Olympics was at the University of San Francisco. I was hired by Dr. Sandy Hill without my degree. I had just finished the Olympic Games. They offered to pay for my degree to finish up my degree at San Francisco. It was a really important piece of my first job. I was hired three days after, three days before two a days started. We went eight and 24 that season. I was miserable. I hated losing. I was seriously thinking about quitting coaching and going into real estate in San Francisco, which maybe that was not a good choice by me, but anyway. <laughs> I was overwhelmed with the scheduling of coaching, the stress of coaching, the losses were brutal. Teaching classes, counseling athletes, you all know exactly what I'm talking about. I was ready to find another career. Then came a note in the mail, December 1986. I opened it to find a note card from an experienced Division I head coach that read, I know you must be discouraged. I had a similar experience my first season of coaching. Hang in there. It gets better and easier, questionable, and you can do it. I will never forget that note. Thank you, Rosie Wegrich from the University of Arizona at the time for that important note 33 years ago. That note changed my life. It was much more impactful than she'll ever know. One of the biggest coaching decisions of my life came not on a volleyball court, but in my house. We were offered the head coaching job at Texas A&M in 93, and the reason it was such a big decision was that it was to go to A&M as a duo, my husband and I. We made the move to Texas A&M, and for 25 years we navigated this business as a partnership. The truth is that he probably should be standing right here, right next to me, since I pretty much always did just whatever he said anyway. John, thank you for being the most amazing and patient coach, partner, and confidant. Thank you for being there through thick and thin. We have had stories of great joy and celebration, as well as stories of harsh disagreement, flowing tears, and often pondering if we should stop coaching together. I'm so thankful that we figured out a way to hang in there and complete what we started. Coaching is all about teamwork. From staff and family members, administrator, and nannies in our case, we are all in it together. I have to thank Lloyd and Betty Wasserman, a couple that we hired in College Station, Texas, to help us with our kids who loved them deeply, cared for them deeply when John and I were away. Some of our former assistant coaches are still some of our best friends, and some are here today. Nicole Lantane Welch, Jenny Wood Volpe, and Trevor Johnson, full timers. Thank you for all making me smile and making me laugh and pushing me but not letting me fall, and being smart and being on my side when John and I disagreed. <laughs> and to all other 50 plus staff members, too many to mention, I wish I could go through the list for your devotion to our program with your time and your energy, your loyalty and your leadership. The main reason I love coaching volleyball is because of the players who went through all the ups and downs and wins and losses and hard practices and killer weight room workouts and start overs and only occasional shuttle runs and Laurie's loud voice and John's soft voice. You all are the reason I truly loved coaching.
Thank you for allowing John and I to be in your lives both then and now. You all are my heroes. I was fortunate to get asked this summer to work with Karch and his staff and his team in Anaheim. And I want to give a big thank you to Karch for inviting me this summer. It's an experience I'll never forget. I didn't even know what I didn't know. And I learned so much about volleyball. And good luck in Tokyo. And now comes the emotional part. My daughter is going to say, Mom, you're so dramatic. To our children, Rachel and Russell, of all the good fortunes I've had in my life, being your mother was always the most rewarding and the most important one that I've ever, that, the most important role I've ever played and my biggest accomplishment. Thank you too for your patience and your understanding with parents who were working most of the week and either recruiting, competing, or traveling most weekends while you were growing up. Parents who were living the dream of coaching and being parents at the same time and damn determined to make it work. I'll never forget coming home from a loss and hearing Rachel still sobbing in her bedroom. Thank you for always trying to lift our spirits after a loss and also grilling us the next morning on what went wrong. It's very rewarding now to see both of you working to make volleyball your livelihood, as I know it's both of your passions as well. Thank you to the Litsky family at Austin Juniors, as well as Stanford University, for putting faith and trust into our Corbelli kids. It makes John and I so very proud, and I'm so proud to call y'all my kids. I'm just so honored. This is just an amazing highlight in my volleyball career. Again, heartfelt thanks to my family, friends, volleyball colleagues, and the Hall of Fame committee for this incredible award. To those of you who went out of your way to come to Pittsburgh this weekend to support me and celebrate this incredible honor and pulled off an amazing surprise dinner last night, some of my former players that I haven't seen in a long time, to celebrate this, I'm overwhelmed with appreciation and happiness and, of course, lots of love. Thank you for allowing me to share these sentiments with you all and for this awesome recognition. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you.